This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha and mabuhai. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, your host for Pinoy Power Hawaii, welcoming you to another great episode on Think Tank Hawaii. Uh, first of all, I want to thank the wonderful crew of Think Tank Hawaii for giving us the opportunity to come into your home every Tuesday at 12 noon live. Our mission on Pinoy Power Hawaii, we aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and the big picture for us is we hope to empower. Today we're going to do just that by uh, sharing wonderful tips on health and wellness and uh, empowerment. And today I'm going to bring back uh, my daughter who is kind enough to uh, share uh, a lot of uh, pertinent information in keeping us healthy and in wellness. Uh, let me uh, introduce to you my daughter, uh, Jamie Nicole Anderson Tiao, mother and entrepreneur. So welcome back, Jamie. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all in the family, <laughs> but we are all about uh, helping uh, people uh, to be healthy, wealthy, and wise. I, add, <laughs> I just added that. She just came <laughs> up with that. <laughs> She's so... Uh, but... Uh, Anyway, uh, let's talk about the uh, five main aspects real quick of uh, okay. uh, being wealthy. Just <laughs> overall, yeah, for mm. overall health and... Yes, um, what are the five key? Because I know you, you're trying to test my memory. Yes. And I'll participate. So we talked about physical, yes. right? Physical. Mm -hmm. We talked about emotional. Mm -hmm. um, we also talked about... Um, Financial and occupational, like what you do for, um, what you do f for a living, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, mental. <laughs> mental. Mm -hmm. Mental health. Yeah, we yes. need that. And uh, the big picture for us is also spiritual. Right. Mm -hmm. Very important part. Mm -hmm. So with all that, uh, that should keep us grounded, and mm -hmm. uh, in balance. Right. We need and you need all to thrive. Mm -hmm. Right. I totally agree. <laughs> so thank God I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> so <clears throat> let's talk about, let's uh, touch up on the, some of uh, those five aspects. Okay. Incorporating the importance of, of these oils uh, oh, that right. the, you, know, you use while growing up. Yeah. So, so should we give some backstory about, about um, health background? Yes, yeah. of course. Okay. So... Mm -hmm. Um, I studied health and nutrition at Brigham Young University. Mm -hmm. BYU. BYU. Go yes. Cougs. <laughs> um, and then, but health, I feel like health and nutrition and was always part of our life growing up. Especially. It's always been. Yeah. Always we know been. that the, it's, it's the foundation and the core right. of, of a happy life. We grew, we grew up with wheatgrass shots. <laughs> Yes. We know how to grow wheatgrass, uh -huh. and we grew up just loving carrot juice, and <laughs> mm -hmm. just always saying the whiter the bread, the, the quicker, quicker you're dead. You're dead. <laughs> and you can uh, thank Dad for, for coming up with that, yeah. mm -hmm. because uh, to this day, we don't uh, like to have white bread in the house. We try to, but I mean, and when we do have that white bread, man, it tastes, it's really good, but... <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> That's why I don't understand people. You know how they cut out just and save the white part? Right. And throws away the crust, the crust. Oh, which has yeah. all those uh, nutrients in it? It does. Uh, actually does have it. Just boggles my mind. It does yeah. have some added, some extra nutrients in that and having that crust on. So mm -hmm. keep that crust on. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. But... Uh, also, uh, there's this uh, concoction that Dad also uh, whip up in the morning, mm -hmm. which he has you drinking also, in addition to wheatgrass. Uh, Brewer's yeast. Brewer's <laughs> yeast, yeah. And you would think... It takes a special <clears throat> person to drink brewer's yeast. Yes. But you know, uh, what's it done to Dad is uh, he uh, prevented his hair from totally falling off. I know. You don't yeah. know a lot of 90-year-olds who have... He is 90 years young. Full head of hair. Yeah. Full head of hair, and yet his hair is uh, darker than my roots. 
<laughs> yeah. For a 90-year-old, the only thing I can credit is brewish yeast and, of course, wheat grass. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and just constantly, yeah, constantly putting that focus on um, his mental, his physical mm -hmm. health. And, right. He's got a good mental outlook. Yeah. Yeah. I think he he's going to be uh, live past 101. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so. definitely. Yeah. We're all striving, striving He'll towards. He'll be there to take care of Mama. <laughs> I hope he's yeah. watching this show because uh, th this show is uh, a lot about him. Mm -hmm. And all the things that he's taught us about being healthy. Um, right. Sprouting was one of the things that he always uh, did where he spout sprouted the wheat. And, uh, right, because, of because it, there is health. There's added um, health benefits to Exactly. So eating it mm -hmm. when it's sprouted versus not. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think just yeah, he's he he's an inspiration to many, right? Mm -hmm, he's mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I feel like that's kind of how health and wellness works, right? Mm -hmm. It's not just for you. You benefit, of course, mm -hmm. by making um, putting a focus on mm -hmm. that aspect. But by doing so, you invite others to do the same. And so I'm hoping that my hope is that my son he'll grow up and he'll remember these. The many, teachings. Yeah, these many uh -huh. lessons that... Um, well, I credit Dad out. also for, uh, you know, your crazy sister. <laughs> <laughs> She's vegan today. She's vegan, yes. Because she remember a lot of those things that she uh, all those, Dad yeah. has taught. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And uh, about e eating, eating things that are straight out uh, from nature. Right. You know? Right. Uh, so we, we, call, we say close to the source. Mm -hmm. So when you're eating something that is close... So the source, that means it's been freshly picked, mm -hmm. it hasn't been processed, right? and that's the best. And they you. still have the signs of nature. Remember mm -hmm. how he uh, used to yes. uh, um, demonstrate uh, the carrot right. and the eyes? Right. Yeah. You eat it's carrots. You eat good carrots. For your eyes. It's really good. Walnuts for your eyes. are good for your brain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's so many. Many, many things. Symbolism is mm -hmm. everywhere yep. in nature. It's awesome. Oh, his ears must be ringing today. <laughs> <laughs> and our next show, we're going to uh, bring him on so that uh, yeah. we can uh, hear it. He's got lots of stories. From the horse's mouth. He's got lots of stories yeah, to tell. Yeah, he does have. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, growing up in a, uh, in a canyon uh, mm -hmm. where everything thrived, and uh, this is in uh, northern Utah. Hiram is the place. Hiram, Logan, Cache Valley, mm -hmm. yeah, where our Anderson Ranch uh, still stands yes. and uh, th thrive till today. But anyway, go back to our main conversation. <laughs> we're going back on topic. <laughs> health and wellness. Okay, so yes, health, nutrition, health, it's been a major part of my life. And mm -hmm. um, another aspect, and mom gets full credit on this one, is um, incorporating in essential oils in our daily health and wellness routines. That's right. You grew up with that because whenever you had the sniffles or, Mom, my stomach is sore, I would uh, take my healing oil blend and then uh, put a drop and rub it on your tummy and, uh, uh, you know, sooner or later you would feel better. You speak uh -huh. the truth. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mom, yeah. Mom was all about essential oils before essential oils were even like cool. Right. Before it became so mainstream. We right? were already Feel pretty uh, good. using like, it. Yeah. yeah. Because I remember um, my grandmother uh, used to use this thing called Hilot. Hilot is to massage. Okay. You know, and uh, she used to squeeze things out of the trees in the backyard, whether it was. Uh, the Kalamungai tree, mm -hmm. uh, and you know that Kalamungai is uh, famous for those uh, nutritional value right. that really help people uh, fight off and ward off those diseases. Yeah, you know. So I remember her squeezing, um, squeezing, things, the, squeezing kalamungai. the juice, Kalamungai, oh my goodness. extracting the juice, and then if you if you had a, a acid problem, upset stomach. It makes you drink that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and even um, uh, the stinky uh, noni. Noni. Mm. Yes. She used to do that. <laughs> yeah, before noni even became mm -hmm. a household name. Mm -hmm. It stunk like hell, but uh, 
with a touch of uh, vinegar and a little bit of sugar. She right. made it palatable. Mm -hmm. But uh, I remember uh, drinking it as as a little girl. So right. all those uh, homemade remedies. Yeah, and they've been around for mm -hmm. so long, mm -hmm. so long, and yeah. So all these things it was uh, all part of our our growing up. Yep. Mom's mom's oil to this day mm -hmm. and forever and always it will be peppermint though. Uh, peppermint and all those uh, uh, other oil blends that helps me with my uh, breathing mm -hmm. because uh, breathing is so important. If you're all stuffed up mm -hmm. and uh, you know a clog up, then you get a that uh, really throbbing headache. Mm -hmm. Then it doesn't really help to make your day pleasant. Right. So this is why uh, you will find me massaging my temple with those oils, and then of course the back of my neck uh, yeah. for relaxation because all of us are feeling so stressed out and all the uh, pressures of uh, uh, the daily grinds of life. You know? Right. So those are all our secret but natural um, ingredients that uh, help us live healthy. Yeah, and I I'm, think a lot of our health can be traced back to, yeah, breathing, right? Mm -hmm. Just taking that time, slow down in your day, and just take a deep inhale. Yeah, I, I'm so glad that uh, you are also incorporating yoga and oh, uh, yes. teaching others uh, to, to breathe and uh, just have an overall wonderful experience just by breathing and being in tune. And connecting movements of the body mm -hmm. with that breathing and just having that stillness in your day. Yes. It's magical. Uh, <laughs> uh, be still and uh, what's the saying, Anak? The, uh, Keep calm. Yeah. Well, be still, my soul. What are you saying? <laughs> Where are you going? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the second, take, take time to okay. uh, meditate, mm -hmm. uh, to appreciate the, the beauty of uh, nature because uh, there's so much uh, clatter, uh, so much things going on that uh, we don't uh, take the time to uh, just be calm, be still, and de-stress. Right. And that's where uh, yoga and proper breathing comes in. Mm -hmm. And I'm so happy uh, you're doing that. By the way, you're doing yoga at the beach today? Yes. Tonight, actually, oh, tonight. evening yoga uh -huh. with my good friend. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to head to Lanikai Beach, and mm -hmm. we're going to do some... I'm going to build a bonfire. Okay. And I'm going to... Deal. <laughs> <laughs> Is that allowed? I'm going to come yeah, and join that's allowed. you. Okay, just, needs, just have a, something to enclose that fire. Sure. If that's not allowed, come to the farm. No, yeah, you uh, can. I'll build a bonfire there, and uh, we fire. can have uh, yoga at the farm. Okay. With a, Beautiful view of <gasps> goat Honolulu. yoga. Yeah. Can you get some goats? Goat? Yeah. It's well, a thing now. Goat yoga. Yeah. I'll ask Uncle Nelson to uh, <laughs> corral uh, some of the goats. Okay, deal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then we can have goat cheese and goat milk. And goat yoga. <laughs> goat yoga. Sounds like, sounds too perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm, I'm so happy to have this great relationship with my daughter because we could sit down anywhere anytime and uh, have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and uh, make sense uh, out of out of these things where That's true. you know some people can not even agree or uh, communicate right but at least we have uh, I think yeah we agree right relationships mm -hmm. are like w that's another aspect of like of health too it's just uh -huh. like relationships with others right you want to build those family bonds and relationships because yep Families, yep, families, families are all we forever. Got. <laughs> <laughs> and that's really, really important. <laughs> you can tell that uh, we have developed uh, this uh, mother, mother and uh, daughter bond uh, because, uh, like I said, whether we're in D.C., uh, where we've been, uh, New York, or even Las Vegas, for that matter, uh, we, we still are able to find common things um, and... Uh, make it a wonderful uh, bonding quality moment for mother and daughter. Aww. And that's how we, sh how we should be. It stares through my eyes. But uh, 
anyway, I won't get emotional because we have the other half that we will uh, go into uh, some tips that we want to share with you about health and wellness, incorporating these uh, wonderful essential oils that will add quality and value in your life. Again, this is Pinoy Power Hawaii, and uh, we are happy to uh, come into your homes every Tuesday with the help of Think Tech Hawaii. We'll take a quick break. We will be right back. Aloha, my name is Mark Shklov. I am the host of Think Tech Hawaii's Law Across the Sea. Law Across the Sea is on Think Tech Hawaii every other Monday at 11 a.m. Please join me where my guests talk about law topics and ideas and music and Hawaiiana all across the sea from Hawaii and back again. Aloha. こんにちは、ハワイ。日本語でお届けする。こんにちは、ハワイ。の日本語放送のコスト国末ゆかりです。各週月曜日の2時からお届けしています。日本語コミュニティ、ハワイの日本語コミュニティに便利なお助け情報
Um, fresh baked cookies. I think of my mom <laughs> and all the times we've spent in the, in in the, the kitchen. kitchen, right? Mm -hmm. So you just, it's that, just the smell is so strong. And so that's one way. It triggers a memory. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, aromatically. Second way you can use essential oils mm -hmm. is topically. So that means it's, you're using it, applying it to your skin. Mm -hmm. Either neat by itself, like putting um, peppermint oil or lavender oil right mm -hmm. on your skin, um, or you use it with a carrier oil, like mm -hmm. coconut oil, because some oils are hot. You don't want to be putting those right directly, directly on your, your skin. skin. Yeah. For example, oregano oil. Mm. It's great for, it's great for um, flavoring. Flavoring, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And for also just giving your body that extra immune support, but mm -hmm. you don't want to be putting that directly on. Yeah. But that and would be good for your digestive system. Yeah. Oregano. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I use it I use it in my um, cooking a lot, mm -hmm. especially Italian dishes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By the way, my daughter uh, is a great cook, and uh, we will soon start off our... Uh, mother and daughter cooking show. Oh, deal. And okay. our new uh, CJC, CJC Live uh, <laughs> channel, which you, you can watch and uh, you can see how uh, we can incorporate uh, using these essential oils. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. And then um, last way, we already touched on it, is internally. So um, by taking them internally, you, you get the benefits mm -hmm. of um, affects your, helps with digestive health. I, I like mm -hmm. using oils to, to assist my liver function. Just our livers mm -hmm. do so much. They go through so much in this day and age. and They need help. It, yeah, right. needs, needs help just mm -hmm. with cleansing. and. I like a few drops of uh, peppermint and uh, lemon in my water. And it just kind of rejuvenates the water. Yeah. And make it more palatable and... Uh, perhaps uh, rather than uh, uh, drinking eight cups, I'll drink a gallon for the day. <laughs> <laughs> so a that's much better, one way of cleansing, right? Yeah, much better uh -huh. alternative to juices and sodas, right? That All those things that are loaded with mm -hmm. uh, sugar. Right, right. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, yeah, so that those are the ways that you can um, use essential oils. But I'm going to say mm -hmm. that you can't just buy any essential oil and... It take it internally. That's the common question. Why can't I go to uh, Long's or Costco or um, any of the... Or the dollar store. Or the dollar <laughs> store and get a, a dollar bottle of oil, although I don't think yeah. you, can, you can buy a bottle of oil for one dollar. Can you? So it, I, have, I have seen it in the dollar uh -huh. section of a store. It must store. be vegetable oil. But yeah, it is not. It's an <laughs> essential oil. So an essential oil mm -hmm. is exactly what it says on the bottle. If it says peppermint, mm -hmm. essential oil, that is all it is. It is the um, oil from a peppermint plant mm -hmm. and nothing else is no added. No additives. Right. Uh -huh. But yeah, when you see um, these cheap oils from elsewhere and you look in the ingredients, chances are like the, the one I saw that was a dollar. It had mineral oil. It had a lot of other things added to it. And mm -hmm. the last ingredient was peppermint oil. Oh. So that isn't an essential oil, right? Uh -huh. It has it, all those fillers. Yeah, it, it had essential oil at the end, mm -hmm. but then it had other Just things to, conform. to fill the bottle. Right. To fill the bottle. Uh huh. So as you can imagine, essential oils, they are not regulated well, mm. right? You mm -hmm. can. You can bottle a lot of things. A lot of different oils. And put a label on it. Even castor oil. And say it's all natural, uh -huh. right? Because, I mean, like, okay, technically, yeah, it is. But, yeah. So mm -hmm. we like to educate people that not all essential oils are created equally. And um, our, our personal preference, we use doTERRA essential oils. Mm -hmm. And we just, we've just come to... Um, love, 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 love the company and all it stands for. They they know that essential oils. It's not all the only the oil itself. It's going back to where it is grown, mm -hmm. what time of the year, um, and the process. Right, and just like who's growing it, like and what the methods of how it's being grown and mm -hmm. harvested, and um, and extracted um, to create essential oils. So they. They work, with, they work with growers all over the world to mm -hmm. ensure that these oils 
are the highest uh, are, yeah, blend and at, quality. They're harvested in the best possible climate, mm -hmm. best possible location in the world to for this plant to grow. And mm -hmm. then after they do all that, they, they're not done there. They also have um, a series of tests that they do to make sure that the that the oil is up to this high high, high standard, standard mm -hmm. where it is safe. Um, it is safe, it is natural, and it's effective. So that means it's safe for you to use on your skin, mm -hmm. it's safe for you to be breathing in and especially internally, because you don't want to mess around. Mm -hmm. We don't want to mess around with any other oils that have not been tested. Mm -hmm. And um, you, want, you want what's safe and best for your family, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think, and yourself. You deserve the best. I definitely think my family deserves mm -hmm. the very best. And also, like, you want these oils to be, you can, we want to be able to count on them. So mm -hmm. with um, doTERRA's testing, I know that every time I use peppermint for stomach indigestion or a headache, it's going mm -hmm. to work every single mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. So that's why I, I love to use doTERRA in, our, in my home. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you come to our home and uh, from the kitchen to uh, the bedroom, uh, is filled with the uh, the essential oils, especially uh, DoTerra. Uh, Mom has her own uh, oil blends that I've been using for a long time, and mm -hmm. uh, our uh, viewers, our listeners, our fans ask for that, the Pinoy Power Healing Oil, <laughs> and I have to give it to them because that's what they're used to. But uh, they also love uh, the DoTerra oil, especially uh, on the uh, diffusers. Uh, there's so many people that are uh, ordering diffusers now and making uh, the essential oil as part of their everyday ritual. And yeah. it's, yeah, it's a healthy mm -hmm. habit. Um, mm -hmm. Like a diffuser, yeah. instead of candles, you know, instead of artificial fragrance. Uh -huh. it's, it's, it's just, yeah, it's just, you're, you're lowering that toxic load. Mm -hmm. I think that's... But where, where can they go to uh, your website or uh, perhaps you can call me, 285-0803. I'd be happy to connect you with Jamie. Uh, give your website because we only got a, a few seconds left. Okay. Website is www.wailaoroad.com. Okay, spell that so real quick. www.wailaoroad.com. Mm -hmm. And that's like our... So it's not just me. Right. This is a this you is have like a, great team. a community, like uh -huh. a community of um, just advocates for health yes. and wanting to just just help anyone uh -huh. who who's ready to make that change. Right. And uh, name them real quickly. Uakea. Uh, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So what we have Uakea Igami. We have Kalei, mm -hmm. Begui, um, and Natalie mm -hmm. Yamamoto. They're all. Wonderful. They're who I started out with, but now we're, we're expanding and mm -hmm. growing and helping others. Auntie Della is oh, one yes. of your uh, other connections. Mm -hmm. Auntie Eileen, all your aunties, Auntie Rose, uh, all there to uh, yeah, support Yeah, they're all, they're all yes. so supportive and happy to help anyone. Okay. All right. We need to wrap up. Uh, we will, again, continue our conversation. But thank you, Jamie, for always uh, coming in and uh, uh, sharing your knowledge about uh, these wonderful essential oils and hopefully uh, we have uh, uh, touched uh, people's mind to look into the benefits of these wonderful essential oils. Uh, thank you again, uh, Think Tech Hawaii, for giving us this opportunity to uh, help others uh, with the empowerment. We aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and we hope to empower. And with that, maraming salamat po. Mabuhay.